Alright, so it's been a year since the Vision Pro launch and PC VR on it has improved a lot. Now of course, the Vision Pro wasn't made for PC VR, but over time with all the updates from AL VR, it's actually become a pretty solid option, way better than it was at launch. Back when it was launched, setting up AL VR was a pain. The performance wasn't great, the latency was noticeable, and the image quality just wasn't where it needed to be. Running PC VR at 3K by 3K resolution back then looked about the same as running virtual desktop on Quest 3 at medium to high settings. Not bad, but definitely not what you expect from a device like the Vision Pro. But fast forward to today, it's so much better. Now you can actually run PC VR at the Vision Pro native resolution with a beefy GPU like the RTX 4090 and still get a very solid experience. Latency sits around 70 to 90 milliseconds, which is still a bit higher than virtual desktop on Quest, but considering the insane resolution and the 5GHz Wi-Fi limitations, it makes sense that it wouldn't be exactly the same. Once I had everything set up properly, running PC VR on the Vision Pro was jaw-dropping. These displays and lenses are pure eye candy. The colors are vivid, and the blacks are pitch dark, and the sharpness is incredible. I could look far into the distance and still see things pretty sharp and clear without any blur. And honestly, just looking around the virtual environment with this headset alone felt like an amazing experience. Another huge improvement is the SteamVR hand tracking support. If you're playing a game that supports hand tracking like VRChat, it works really well now. VRChat now fully supports hand tracking on PC, meaning you can splay and curl your finger just like on Quest. This makes finger movement feel much more natural and fluid, making hand tracking a much better experience for social VR. Now obviously, not every game works well with hand tracking, so let's talk about some controller options. Using Joy-Con as controller is a really popular option where hand tracking controls the position and the Joy-Con handles the inputs. Super convenient for casual games that don't need precise controller movements. And if you want the best controller experience, index controllers are the way to go. Pairing them is actually pretty simple. You just need some Steam VR dongles, or if you already have a Lighthouse tracking headset, you can use that instead. For calibration, Space Calibrator makes it really easy. You just assign the index controller to calibrate with your hand as emulating a controller. And for the calibration process, just hold the controller in your hand, hit calibrate, and move your controllers around till it's done. I find this much easier compared to pairing Quest controller with index controllers, where you have to hold two different controllers together when calibrating. There are also the Surreal Touch controllers. These are self-tracking controllers that work similarly to the Quest Pro controllers, and they're currently going for $289 US dollars, which is quite a bit for controllers alone. Since they're made by a smaller company, they're not as widely tested like other options like index controller, and there aren't many reviews out there yet. It's an interesting alternative that adds to the many options for using controllers with the Vision Pro. After a year, using the Vision Pro for PC VR has become a much better experience. Sure, it wasn't built for PC VR, but the fact that it can now run it smoothly alongside everything else that it does, that's a huge bonus. And if you're looking to try it out, I leave my AL VR settings in the description for anyone who needs them. And thanks for watching!